it summons our little turtle friend who certainly takes her sweet time. And once she arrives... Oh, hi, Twinson. If you want to take a little sea trip, jump on my back. And for some reason, it's voiced by a kid. But anyways, so yeah, let's take this opportunity to talk about some of the bugs that I showed off last episode. You might have noticed that my car flew very, very, very far. Well, there's a reason for that, and it's not as straightforward as you might think. See, that uh, bug was accomplished by the jump save bug, and here's our, another clover container piece. Now we have four clover container, uh, Zelda, etc. Um, yes, so it's not as straightforward as you might think. There are quite... Th that that little section of the car flying took about uh, 50 edits by a little script that I wrote. You see, the, the bug that I was showing off there was called the jump save bug. And how you use it is basically you jump, you save, and then you reload your save. And you actually get a very small amount of extra height out of that jump. Hi. Hi, Twinson. If you want to see Moye the turtle, you might find her at the small oasis or on the other side of the harbor. To call her, just ring the bell. And you can repeatedly save and reload and save and reload and save and reload until finally you get to infinite heights. And that's actually also how I got so high up for the beginning of the video. Hi. Hi. I enjoy wandering in the desert. Once, in the Temple of Boo, I found lots of little treasures. And it might sound tedious, but I wrote a little script for it, so it's really not that bad at all. Uh, and a script for editing, as I said previously. Uh, and yes, uh, oh god, that's loud. And yes, uh, you can actually race this guy, but... Uh, it's not actually a race, you actually have to follow him, and you follow him in your car, and for winning you actually just get two clovers, and he tells you that gallic acid will turbocharge your vehicle, which it actually won't. Uh, it's false advice. Uh, you can't actually use gallic acid on your car at all. Uh, but. It's actually just a little hint. He says that the healing wizard told him that you can use gallic acid on the car. And it's supposed to be a hint that uh, the healing wizard has gallic acid in his house, which he did. We picked it up. Anywho, uh, here's the uh, hot, hot springs uh, of the area. So let's go check it out. I haven't actually shown it yet. Hello. Hi. Ah, these strangers sure are cool. They keep buying us drinks. <laughs> what a great bunch of guys. Right? Right, buddy? <laughs> yep. Hi. Hello, sir. These esmers are pretty chummy. Bringing drinks for everybody. They even buy them for the wizards. I still keep an eye on the women's steam bath, though. <laughs> the first one who goes in there will have to deal with me. Now then, see that ladder behind there? We're actually going to be trying to get up there, but first we have to figure out a way in. So we have to lure that guy out of his little counter area. Hi. Hello. This Turkish bath is too hot for me. Sometimes it's so hot that I have hallucinations. I see wizards everywhere. Wizards everywhere. Hi. Greetings, Twin Sunny. Magic missile, magic. But yes, so how do we lure him out of his little counter area? Why, of course. Smasher! Yep. I, I guess you could say Twinson was caught red handed because the, the, Haas, the Hacienda is hot. And up here, we find a little snake tamer. Hello. Hello to you, Twinson. Uh, who, whoever wants to know has to go and see. Now, you must fulfill your destiny, my young hero. And there's a little viewing Do thing. Do you want to use the telescope for two caches? Okay by me. 
and it reveals a little island. Now, we couldn't actually get to this island previously, it wasn't on our list uh, for our dino fly, but now if we head over to our dino fly, uh, we can actually fly over there. And that island will contain a magic spell, which can be fairly helpful. Not the most helpful of magic spells, but nice to have. Hello. Hello. Well, this climate promotes the growth of this carnivorous yellow flower. It's in high demand among the wizards, and it only grows in rocky, hard-to-reach areas. And apparently that flower we picked up is carnivorous. Hello. My master often goes to get sand roses for me. I love munching them. They're so crunchy. Okay, and that about wraps up all the NPCs on both islands for all the major events. So we've pretty much cleared everything. All that's left now is to pick up our final level of magic. And here we are inside the wizard school. Bravo, Twinson. You now bear the title of wizard. I don't have any spare wizard's parade tunics left, but there is a peddler on the island. I'll contact him and ask him to give you one. Go find him. Also, let your beard grow. You just received your wizard's diploma. Plus, you just earned a new level of magic. Green ball. And Listen to me. I, I must inform you of some very concerning news. Almost all the wizards of Twinson have disappeared, and no one knows where they are. They must be found, and you're the only one who can accomplish this noble task. The school is counting on you, Twinson. And Disappeared? Uh, Master, this is grave news. I'll do all in my power to find them. Trust me. I said final level of magic, but of course that was a lie. There are plenty more levels of magic to go. But as you can see, our magic meter expanded a bit, and if Twinson would get uns unstuck, then we can properly read this chalkboard over here. Learning also means completing old problems with new methods. And that's pretty boring for a little mysterious thing that we couldn't read previously. But the other thing that changed is the color of our magic ball. It's now green. And does slightly more damage and can damage enemies that we couldn't hurt earlier, which is none for now, but later on we will run across enemies who we can't hurt at all. Hello. Did you see a wizard walk this way recently? Oh no! If I had seen any, I'd have asked them to help me pass at least one test. Honor roll of most recent wizard graduates. And as you can see, we're on the honor roll now. Very well done, Twinson. Your brain sometimes works properly. Um, so, next up, uh, let's... Let's pick up our wizard gear. Hello, do you know where the wizards are? Uh, hello! I saw Karak pass by a while back. Told me the Esmers had invited him, uh, someplace or other. Regardless, he was going to the Hacienda. My dear sir, my goods are only available to fully licensed wizards. Well, apparently he hasn't gotten the message that we're a wizard yet. <sighs> ah, you must be Twinson. Congratulations for passing your examination. If you want a magician's tunic, it'll only cost you 50 caches. We'll throw in a false beard to make you look like an old magician. Interested? Okay by me. You just found a parade outfit for the wizards. And no, Twinson looks even more ridiculous than usual. And we look like a wizard, so uh, I guess that will help us figure out what's been happening to them. Somehow. Anywho, next up let's head over to that island which we saw to our upper left. Uh, so that involves going on to our dino fly. And here we are at our dino fly. Hi. Why do you want... The island across from the hacienda. And I think this will just about wrap up this episode. So, next episode, we're going to be picking up that bit of magic on this island, and we're going to be figuring out what the heck happened to those wizards. And so, I, uh, I hope you have a good Merry Christmas, actually. Hopefully you're watching this after Christmas, because you spent it with families or friends or 
at a bar enjoying a couple good drinks and meeting some new people and uh, yeah we can't actually get to the magic yet I lied we need the proto pack so um I'm I'm going to see you guys and I hope you have a happy holidays eh